What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And hey, baby, we are on the big roll. We're in the RV. We're going from Florida all the way up to Alaska. And right now, we're in Mississippi. But I want to run it back. I want to take you back over to Africa for the grand finale of one of the best trips ever. We were with Headed Boss and his wife, Yolandi, the Dagaboy Safaris, and we got to do all kinds of wonderful things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna cry right now. But I personally got to spot and stalk a bull rhino using an inoculation gun. I know that sounds crazy, but it actually happened, and I wanna show you why. But first, I wanna thank Jackery for sponsoring this video. As you've seen many times before, I am a huge fan of the Jackery solar units. This is my Explore 1500, and it goes everywhere I do. Right now, we're on a 5,000 mile road trip, and you know what, we need, we need power every step of the way. We can easily charge it up using our solar panels, but we can also plug it in while we drive, or plug it into the wall when we have power. This little guy right here is so strong. We can charge our computer, all of our camera batteries, all of our cell phones, all at the same time, but it does bigger jobs. We can run the air compressor so we can change a tire. We can use a skill saw. Not only is our Jackery solar unit good for a road trip, but I live in South Florida. We get hurricanes and when a hurricane comes through, you lose all power. With this, we're gonna be able to harness the power of the sun and keep all of our essential tools running no matter how long it takes to get our power back. It's peace of mind, folks. If you had this unit, what would you use it for? I mean, the options are endless and they're about to become even more endless because on May 12th, it's the official Jackery Day and they're coming out with a new product that has even greater capability and it's gonna blow your mind. Be sure to visit the official Jackery website or their social media pages on May 12th to see what all the excitement is about. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we just got done with one of the most amazing opportunities of my life. We were up in a helicopter. We found a female wild white rhino that last year had been shot by poachers. Twice, a world-renowned wildlife veterinarian named Tinas came in, worked with these people, and brought this animal back to life. So the bullet wins when she was shot. The one bullet went into you, in the chest, and the one in this front leg. Wow. She did deal very nicely. Now she's raising a cub that's about 10 months old, and things are going great. Rhinos in the wild, are critically endangered, and the vast majority of them live on private landowners' land, and they have to take care of them. They have to protect them through security, nutrition, and inoculations. These animals are wild, they're massive, and they're very, very dangerous. So you can't walk up to them and say, hey, let me give you this shot, it's gonna be good for you. <laughs> I've got my wife, Sarah, this is my friend, Gerard Voss, he runs Dagaboy Safaris, and you are riding shotgun. Okay, now so let's get the gun. So we're trying to move a little bit. We're driving through the savanna, trying to pick one up. We've been walking for quite a ways. Now we're gonna use the truck and we're just gonna try to spot one. Oh. Watch out, watch out. A 
lot of weather just moved in. The, the rain has really started to come down and the temperature is dropping. That's gonna be good for the stock if we find them because it's gonna be much more quiet. Thank God we had some frog togs in our backpacks so we're not soaking wet the rest of the day. We're actually dry as a bone. Can you see my file in here? <laughs>
That was, without a doubt, one of the most intense, serious hunts of my life. And you may ask yourself, why would you shoot him with a dart? Because it's paramount to inoculate the wild rhinos at least once a year. That's gonna help them survive certain diseases and infections and parasites that they may encounter in the wild. Well, the landowner, that's like a 100,000 acre piece of property. The person who owns that pays for the veterinarians and the, the service and the security of those rhinos. And then Herod Voss, who is the PH, he is a professional hunter. He's a conservationist. He's a steward of the land. He is able to take me and other people in there and with a keen eye select a specific rhino. You dart them with its inoculation and then for the next year, that rhino certainly will be healthy and happy. So what we were doing is critical for the health and survival of the rhino population in South Africa. And if you would like to go to South Africa, whether on a hunting safari or a conservation safari or a river trip or a bird watching expedition, I'm telling you, Dugaboy Safaris is professional. They are so kind. They're a loving family. They're just wonderful people. And we had the time of our life. Guys, I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, Rob, especially for you, you know, sometimes you take a chance on something and it works or it doesn't work. And uh, you made the decision to come and see what we do and what we have to offer. And I think that uh, we got your mind going. And as a little, small little token of appreciation, we want to give you guys something to take back home and make sure you never forget your experience with us. Wow, man. That is so cool. Wow. The dates on there, and so you can put it somewhere in your home and, and use it and think of us and the big things that we're going to do together. Yeah, you guys wow, check that out. Wow, that's so special. Yeah. So this is from Tinas. This is what Don't this is what made your Don't elephant go. sleep. <laughs> okay, so the story behind this, this is ultra special. This is the dart that Tina's here shot into the elephant to give it its anesthesia. And he said, Yeah, did you see the shot placement? And I was like, Yeah, I did. He's like, it has to be perpendicular. He's talking all about us. I'm like, yeah, that was great. Good job. He's like, but you, did you look at the dart? I'm like, yeah, and I'm staring at it. He's like, did you look at the dart? When you turn it, he wrote on there, deer meat for dinner. <laughs> and I finally saw it and realized what he was trying to tell me the whole time. <laughs> I promise I'm not that blonde. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I knew what you were gonna like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the real deal. I'm gonna put it on for you. Oh. It was an honor to do it with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This trip. There you I go. Can't even talk. What, baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta say something because I'm not talking right now. No, Tina, you're not going to do that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Rob didn't tell me where we were going. He, he didn't tell me anything. I actually talked to Gerard through WhatsApp and was like, hey, can you just send me a website? Because I don't even know where we're going <laughs> to send to my parents because my parents were wondering. I came here with an open mind. I didn't know who was going to pick us up at the airport. I, I, I had no idea the people we would meet, the relationships that you guys have with each other the family bond that you guys have. I mean, the boys, Shirley was here. Everything is family oriented. I would have felt so guilty had we not brought the kids. I mean, this whole trip, it's not, it's not about the hunting. It's about the experiences that we had on the trip. And we got to do some incredible things, incredible things. But it wouldn't have been that incredible if it wasn't for you guys. There's not one single person that was rude to us, that made us feel like we weren't part of the group or uncomfortable in any way. 
I, I, I'm blown away. This, this, these two weeks, like, I'm not ready to go home now. <laughs> Very few people know that I suffer from an eye disorder called central serous leakages. The, the retina in my eyes leak, and so I can't see out of the center of my eyes very well, which is why I use a Burris Oracle. While I was here, I had no idea of this, but WJ suffers from, a, from an eye disorder as well. And I'm not going to talk anymore because I'm going to tear up and act like a girl. <laughs> but uh, you can have the whole bow in sight. Whenever you <laughs> <see>. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Now I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, no. And that's my favorite bow in the whole world. It's a bear. <laughs> like, this bow was given to me by the CEO of the Bear Corporation. So. Wow. <laughs> and that that site was given to me by the vice president of Burris or by of Burris Optics, and then you deal with poachers all the time. So this is my own personal. <laughs> <laughs> this is my own personal thermal Watch optic that I use. Thank now, you. now when you're cruising along, um, I wish I, I have a lot of things to give away, but we're not going to do it all on video. I just wanted to give you that because that's something very very special to me for a special reason. All right. Oh, now, <laughs> go kill a freaking word all <laughs> I will send you a video. <laughs> I love it. And that's all I got for you, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed our series here in South Africa. It's a place that I had no idea about, but now I long to return. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless, and we are gone.